In any motor, regardless if it's a DC motor or an AC motor, there are two important parameters which should exist. You have to have the magnetic field B, and you have to have the current I. When these two do exist, then you will have the, the force. Now, how these motors are different from each other is basically based on how the uh, B is uh, produced and where it is produced as we will see now. So here is uh, five different motors. These two motors are basically this one and this are DC and these three motors are AC. So what is the basic difference between the AC and the DC motors? The basic difference is that where is the field and where is what we call the armature. The field where you will have B, the armature where you will have I. In DC motor, the field will be basically the stator and the armature will be your rotor. However, in the uh, AC machines, it's the opposite. The field will be in the rotor and the armature will be in the, in the stator. So that is the basic fundamental difference between AC and DC motors. Now within the DC motors, these two motors, this is the, a field uh, motor where you have a field winding, and these field windings, you can see them here, is basically they will generate B. But this motor is a permanent magnet. So the magnetic field is produced using a permanent magnet. Then this is why this is a field winding that can be connected either as shunt or series or compound. But this one has uh, only one connection, the permanent magnet, where you have your permanent magnet there to produce the flux. Now let's go to the AC machines. The major difference between the, these two this is a single phase induction motor. This is a three phase induction motor. And this is a synchronous motor. The difference between the induction motor and the synchronous motor, how we produce the field in the rotor. In the induction motor from its name, the field is induced from the armature or the stator. So we do not provide uh, any supply to the rotor but the, uh, the magnetic field is basically induced from the stator. On the other hand, for the synchronous uh, motor, as you can see here, these are two slip rings where you connect your DC uh, battery and uh, this DC battery will provide you with the, with the field. So the field here is provided by an external source. Finally, the difference between the single phase and the three phase Induction motor, the, induc the three-phase induction motor is a self-starter because of the rotating magnetic field. However, we don't have a rotating magnetic field in a single-phase induction motor. Then we have to do something so that we can make the motor start by itself. And there are different techniques like a split phase or having a capacitor that is uh, only connected uh, at the beginning of the starting of the motor and then disconnected. So that is a very general overview about both DC and AC motors.